was going to do a video on these coils. I'm going to take it off, test it, and then refit the set in the air gap. Obviously, there's an air gap in between this and the spinning flywheel. That's so you can get it close enough to create a spark, but obviously not touching it. This is your. It's like a brake sort of thing, but it also goes through this. So it, when that touches there, it earths out the coil and stops the spark. So that's just what that is. Right, I'll whip this off quick. Just going to get the magnet out of the way there. There's just two 10 millibolts, millimetre bolts. And that's it, it's off. So I'll just test that now. So on these you've got a primary side where you test between this and the metal and the secondary side where you test between this and the metal. So I'll do that now. So you want to set the meter to resistance. So I'm getting a very good reading on that for some reason. Should be pretty low, like 1.2 ohms or something. So 1.4 ohms there. And then I'll test. And that's 12 kilo ohms, so 12,000 ohms. So that's a good ignition coil. And next I'll set up and I'll fit it back on. Set in the air gap. So how I fit these is I put a piece of paper on, it's folded up four ways, like that, folded up four ways, stick it on, and you get this the right way, and just put it on the magnet, obviously like I turn the magnet so it's facing the coil, and then it pulls it in and sticks it to it, I'll just make sure I've got that right. And that should set your gap, but obviously you want to check it with your feeler gauge afterwards. Pull it out and then plug it in. Just make sure you can turn it, you take it scraping and obviously test it with your feeler gauge, make sure the gap's correct because there's a gap just between the flywheel and the coil. <laughs> 